You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Supernova. Hopefully, there's a bit more. There, there's some, you know, there, there's some more meat, meat in in this episode. I'm hoping I don't get right to the end in this one. But yeah. Anyway, a uh, new update came out, uh, 0.5. It's got uh, additional content for Super Fang's route, so I think I'm going to be doing him next. But anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy. Let me continue for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm tenure. Oh, all right. Let's go. Okay. I blink at the screen, staring at the indistinct speck that sends shivers down my spine. Why would it take him so long to let you guys know? That's something I'd love to know myself. Did something mess with your communications? There have been no interruptions in the network, Templar. I'm going to double-check that. I'll be in touch with Lila. In the meantime, we need to decide what our next steps are. We still have no idea who that wolf was or what he was after. The bracelet, maybe? He wouldn't have known about the bracelet. Even if he did, what use would it be to him? If he thought he could use it himself... Perhaps. It's, best, it's the best guess we have right now, anyhow. If it's true, the change in the armor's appearance will not affect our plans. And if it's not? I turned sharply, not having realized that Nisus was here with us. We won't know until we have caught that wolf. Either way, we can't sit on our asses. I'd rather make a move before that bastard does. I couldn't agree more. How's his, how's his progress? Good. Good to hear. All right, then. I'll see if we can get somewhere with this mess. See you all later. <laughs> you two done for today? You two done for today, then? Yeah. Actually, I was thinking of resting a bit, then practicing flying. Would you like some help with that, Nick? Oh, you would do that? Of course. I'd be happy to. I need to make an appearance at the courthouse soon, but I will be back in two hours at most. I'd appreciate that, Unbound. Unbound nods with a slight smile and waves at the two of us as she leaves. I find myself alone with Frank again. Any plans for the day? I need to see if Gil brings any crime to my attention. Other than that, no. Cool, cool. So, I was wondering, I know we got plenty of exercise and all, but I don't want to stop jogging and you want to do it together? He looks taken aback at my suggestion. It's alright if you don't, I just thought... No, it, it's fine. I don't mind. Oh. Great, um, then I'll text you the next time I'm going, and we could meet up? Sure. Get some rest now. Emma will be back soon. Emma. I nod to that. I try not to dwell on the thoughts about the previous occupant when I get to my quarters. The bed is comfortable when I lie down on it, although I don't intend to sleep. Just let my tired limbs relax a moment. We still have no idea what the wolf was after, huh? Frank said Templar had plenty of enemies back in the park, so who's to say this wasn't one of them? Just one that the rest of the team didn't know. Doesn't explain why Templar didn't contact them. Ugh, I just wish the Baron would find him already. The sooner he's locked up, the better. Throw away the key while they're at it. Bastard. There's more to this than we're seeing. Why would Templar not contact his team? This is very unusual. God damn, every time I'm all alone as of late, I start thinking about this shit. I'm not gonna have a panic attack again. Fuck this! Hop off the bed and go out to wander around the base. Frank is still in the meeting room, tapping his Rubik's Cube idly on the table with one palm while he stares at the holographic globe. He doesn't notice me when I glance inside, and decide, and I decide not to disturb him right now. I don't know how long I end up walking around, but when I'm told Unbound is back, I breathe a sigh of relief. Heh. <laughs> Alright, Nick, there's three things you want to practice a lot. First, you will need very fine control of your momentum. If I lose control, I can use my powers to phase through obstacles. You have no such advantage. Second, you'll want to get used to moving from an idle position with nothing to push off of. With nothing to push off of, it will feel very strange, but you'll get the hang of it. Lastly, building on these recovery, if something knocks you off course, you'll need to slow yourself down and regain balance. Uh, sounds good. Roll my shoulders and take a deep breath. Oh god. Sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. Oh man, I've been sneezing like crazy lately. This is the one thing I've been looking forward to the most. I just need to master it. Unbound nods, and without altering her stance, floats up into the air, where she hovers, perfectly composed, around three feet from the ground. Alright, I can do this. I start floating up. 
Except like unbound, except unlike Unbound's dignified ascent, I immediately fell off balance and just barely managed to hold myself upright. Focus. Focus, it's not just your legs, you're flying with your whole body. I know, but it feels wrong, like I'm dangling from invisible threads instead of flying, and when I move, I just end up further entangling myself. I managed to stabilize myself, even though it feels like all wobbly, like I could, like I could topple over any minute. Now land. Uh, I look down. That's ten feet at least. I didn't plan on doing this high. I raise my arms and lower them as I remember I have nothing above me. Nothing to push off of, all right. Gotta will myself to go down instead. And slowly but surely, I do. When my feet touch the ground, though, I'm thrown off again, and I manage to stay upright only by filling my arms like windmills. Phew! Unbound lands as well. That was quite good. I it was? Much better than my first attempts. My feet are trembling a little, but I guess it wasn't that bad at all. Huh. I grin at Unbound, then remember she can't see my face and give her a thumbs up. Kinda uncomfortable, if I'm being honest, but I think I can get used to this. It's like learning to ride a bicycle. Soon enough, it'll be muscle memory. So I practice, float up, then down, rinse and repeat. Truth be told, if I was practicing by myself, I'd take a few more risks, but with Unbound here, I feel compelled to take it slow. So slowly and steady, slow and steady wins the race or something. Slow and steady it is. Up. Down. Up again. A little higher this time. Then a steady descent. Hey, I guess I'm a natural at this. I'm surprised I haven't crashed yet. That wouldn't be so bad. First time I fell, I went intangible and kept, go and kept going deeper and deeper. Oh, Jesus, that must have been terrifying. Unbound chuckles. It was, but I managed to recover. I try to take off my helmet. I realize it won't slide off and try to will it to disappear. Oh, my God, what if she just kept, like phasing and she just kept falling through through like through the earth's core and she came out the other side of the planet oh man that'd be really really weird hmm. to my surprise it fades leaving the rest of the armor in place neat how old were you when you got your powers let's see 15 if i recall correctly whoa that's pretty young quite common as far as i know to get them at around that age I guess Vince was a late bloomer. And Nisus, he hasn't mentioned when he got his. He doesn't like talking about his powers. <sniffs> oh, man. <clears throat> he, yeah, I know, I, but he explained them to me. I see. He got them very early, I believe. I see. Unbound looks towards the sun. It's getting a bit late. We can continue this some other day. Feel free to practice on your own when you're here. Just make sure you don't fly beyond this thicket. The thicket ticket. Got it. I found pretty thick. <laughs> no, bad nary. We head back to the HQ through the wood, through the hidden elevator. I was about to say through the wooden elevator. <laughs> the wooden elevator. <laughs> Making some budget cuts, guys. We gotta scrap the good elevator. Thanks, Unbound. No need to thank me. It's my responsibility to make sure you're ready. Yeah, well, still, thanks. I appreciate the lesson. We break off there. Unbound going on her way. Me returning to give Frank a quick update on how it went. So yeah, I think I'm a natural at this. Glad it went well. Alright, well, I'm gonna clean up and head home now. Can you give me a ride? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm surprised by the request, but not about to complain. After changing out of his costume, Frank meets me in the cave, putting his backpack in my back seat, and we're off. We should take a break from combat training tomorrow. Any reason? Got some things to do around the city. You can get some flying practice, though. True. After a couple minutes of silence, Nisus fishes out his phone and opens some kind of mobile game. Out of the corner of my eye, I watch him pop some bubbles with numbers on them. You're really into those puzzles, huh? They help me focus. Focus? In what way? He shrugs, not taking his eyes off the phone screen. It just gets distracting in here sometimes. He taps his head with a knuckle. Is it some kind of ADHD thing? No. Because there are some good ways to manage... No. Ah, alright, sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. Fox stares out the window at the tunnel walls. It's nothing like that. Just me. Not knowing what to say to that, I like to stay silent. Fuck me, I've made things awkward again. I just can't make heads or tails of this man. It feels like I never say the right thing. Sorry, I shouldn't have snapped at you. It's okay, I shouldn't have asked. No, you're good, just... I don't know how to explain it. Is it related to your powers? He fidgets with the, ta with the seat belt before applying. Yeah, kinda. But it's not something you need to ever worry about. Alright, if you say so. But I'm here if you need to talk, okay? 
I know I'm new. I'm no. I know I'm new to this, and we don't know each other know each other well. So it's okay if you don't want to. But I'm always willing to lend you my ear. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Nick. And uh, same. If you need to talk, I mean. I smile at him. I know you said no combat training, but do you want to run together tomorrow? Yeah. Why not? It should be done by the evening. Great. You have no idea how excited I am. I've been trying to get Lucas, my roommate, to run with me for almost a year now. It'll be so good to have a partner. Yeah, it will be. As we emerge out of the tunnel, I turn on some music, trying to, get to gauge Frank's reactions to the songs. He doesn't seem to mind pop music, so I end up listening to some of that before I drop him off at his apartment building. Frank may be a tough nut to crack, but he's opening up to me a little. I'm curious as to why he cannot drive. Or does he just choose not to drive? Because with his ability, he should be able to be one of the, like, probably one of the best drivers in the entire world. As long as he puts his mind to it. That's very interesting. I wonder if he got his powers in a supercar accident. It was just a regular car accident. It was a supercar accident. <laughs> like he got into a crash with a Porsche. Supercar, I think. It felt good to hear him say I can go, I, I, blah, I can go to him if I need to talk. Despite his hair trigger temper, I have no doubts he'd hear me out no matter what I were to be de what, no matter what I were to be dealing with. I hope he took my own and offered a heart. I'm getting the impression that he's not all that close with the other Sentinels. Although, I wouldn't want to jump to conclusions. I still don't know them well enough to judge. It wouldn't be the first time I was wrong about Frank. I just need to keep chipping away at his exterior. Heh. <laughs> no wonder the public knows so little about Nisus. It'd be nice to see him outside the HQ again. With us yelling this time, I hope. Hmm. Alright. Is it... Is, no? Is there more? Yes, yeah, thank God. I sleep in this time around, having gotten more tired yesterday than usual. I'm gonna skip the trip to Salford today. I kind of wish the Sentinels had built their hideout somewhere inside the city. Even with access to the tunnel, the trip takes a bit too long. Not that I'll have to worry about that much longer. I stare at my stare at my course books for a while, trying to muster up the will to study. Studies in meta, studies in meta theater seems to be interesting enough a couple weeks ago. Now the idea of sitting in a class seems almost alien in the face of being a superhero. Like, does any of this stuff even matter anymore? Well, I still need a job. In publishing? Was I really saying that to Lucas not so long ago? Dad would have a good laugh if I told him I was no longer to the idea of going to college. Huh. Alright, I gotta focus for now. I'm not even doing any superhero super heroics yet, and training isn't consuming so much of my time that I can just neglect my duty and my studies. So I study a bit, although I'm distracted the whole time. Alright. At lunch in the dining hall, I even managed to socialize with my friends. The college talk bores me quickly, though, and I'm back to counting the hours until I can hang out with Frank. When he texts me to meet it, when he texts me to meet him near his place, I rush off immediately. Frank is outside on the sidewalk, except as I approach, I realize he's talking with a young red-furred vixen. He doesn't notice me, and I hang back, doing some stretches. I think they're arguing about something, although neither of them is raising their voice. I'm not about to eavesdrop either, so I wait until the conversation runs its course, the vixen nodding at Frank before walking off in the opposite direction. He stands there, rubbing his snout, until I walk up to him. Hey! Hi! Is this a bad time? We can go some other time. What? Oh, that! No, don't worry, I'm ready. Alright, was that a friend of yours? Huh. <laughs> An acquaintance. Let's go. He doesn't wait for me to respond, taking off on a brisk jog down the sidewalk. I follow quietly, sensing that he doesn't want to talk about the vixen. We didn't agree on a specific route, so instead we weave in between various side streets, staying away from the central avenues. Frank stops from time to time to make sure I don't need a break. All good? Yeah, yeah, we can keep going. But if you don't mind, could we swing by your place in a bit? I, I could use a drink of water and a bathroom break. Y yeah, sure, it's kind of messy though. Dude, I live in a dorm, nothing will phase me. Well, okay then, let's start making our way back. I saw a smile there. We do just that, soon finding ourselves back on his street. He leads me into the building, up the staircase, and down a hallway on the third floor, where he unlocks his apartment door and holds it open for me. Alright, I can see what he meant when he said it was messy. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I, uh, I'm, I'm, acquaint I'm acquaintances with the guy who is uh, doing some of the music for this game. Nice guy, loves horror movies. We get along pretty well. <laughs> Alright, I can see what he meant when he said it was, e when he said it was messy. <laughs> Nothing too tragic, to be fair. I'm amused to see a superhero living like a stereotype of a single li of a single guy in his 20s. He rushes in and starts moving the clothes thrown haphazardly around into his laundry basket. Sorry about this. It's fine. Although, if you need some help cleaning up, I wouldn't mind lending you a paw. <laughs> no! 
I'll clean up. You can just uh, use the bathroom. It's over there. He points to a door at the end of the short hallway. Trying very hard not to chuckle, I nod and head over there. If he thinks about making his room the, the most clean room ever, could he do it? I mean, literally anyone can do that, but like... I wonder with how his powers would be, would he just know perfectly where to put everything in the room to achieve like the perfect, the perfect synergy and harmony in the room? I don't know, it's, it's just interesting to think about. I'm trying very hard not to chuckle, I nod and head over there. The bathroom is much cleaner. I can't stop chuckling at how flustered Frank got. I must be lucky he let me in here at all, instead of making me use a public toilet somewhere outside. True gentleman. Heh. <laughs> I start washing my hands and... Huh. I blink at my reflection in the mirror. Everything's so blurry all of a sudden. I fumble for the hand towel, my head feeling so heavy I could fall any minute. No, I, I am falling. There's this overwhelming urge to just close my eyes. I'm so tired. I want to sleep. Just a quick nap. What? What's going on? S something's wrong. Something's... My arm is in front of my face. The bracelet. That's right. My vision clears instantly, and so does the haze of lethargy that has overtaken me. What the hell was that? I listen, then realize I'm hearing someone's voice from the other room. And it's not Nisus. I barge through the door and into the bedroom. Frank is staring at me wide-eyed, and so is the stranger. A uh, Martin I've never seen before. Shit! Templar's here?! I growl and prepare to charge, but Frank intercepts me before I've taken more than two steps. The Martin, seeming panicked, raises up his hand, but again Frank is faster, grabbing him by the wrist. Oh, shit. Calm down, both of you! Ow, dude! <sighs> Who the hell is that? Not an enemy. Yeah, no shit! Uh, how are you not asleep? What? Nisus narrows his eyes at the Martin. You know you can just fucking call me, right? Cell phones can be traced. By a burner. I'm not gonna waste my money on that. What's going on? Nisus sighs, his right eye twitching as he looks at the Martin. This is... what do you call yourself nowadays? Omen. Are you, uh... this is, uh... Mm, Omen. Nisus rolls his eyes as he talks. He's an acquaintance. Kinda. And instead of knocking on the door like a normal person, he decided to teleport in and put you to sleep. I assume with good reason. I shift my gaze from Frank to the Martin. Omen, then back to Frank, baffled. Wait a second, are you a superhero? Huh, <laughs> nah. Huh, what well, was that, magic? No. Yes. It's not magic, it's- I'm, I'm not a circus performer. I'm a thaum- I'm a thaum- I'm a thaumaturge. I'm too distracted by the by the by what the Martin is saying to pay attention to Frank rolling his eyes again. Did you try to put me to sleep with a spell or something? Y yeah, sorry about that. I had no idea Templar was in there. You kind of deserve to get your ass beat. I said I was sorry. Why are you here? I I wanted to ask for some assistance. Hmm. What trouble did you get yourself into this time? N no, it's it's not about me. I mean, I, I am in a bit of trouble, but that's besides the point. You, you see, I've learned that the Knuckles have acquired a valuable thaumaturgical object. One that needs to be stolen from them. Uh-huh. And what's this magical trinket? It's not, never mind. I'm not sure, but I know it that it has some kind of amplifying effect on spells. How do you know that? Knowing things is my job. But you don't know what exactly it is. I'll know once I have it. What does it matter, anyway? Whatever it is, you want to leave it in the hands of mobsters? If this is all you've got, if, is this all you have to go off of? Seems like a waste of time. Hold on there, that sounds like something worth investigating. What do you need me for, anyway? Well, I already tried, but I ran into some trouble. I need some backup in case things go south again. What kind of trouble? More security than I could deal with on my own. And they know, and, and they know I'm after the artifact now. Why didn't you ask for my help earlier? I didn't think I'd need to. Hmm. Frank watches Omen with narrowed eyes, thinking. No. No? Why? Because I did, because it doesn't seem worth my time, and I'd rather not get shot at for something the mob can't even use. Wait, wait. How do we know they can't use it? If the gangs had magic users on hand, we'd know. The Martin, who's giving me a curious look, blinks and nods. That's true, but it's still not something we should ignore. Have you talked with Gnome about this? 
Haven't seen him in ages. His sanctum's been empty for a while now. Huh? He wouldn't leave without a word. Oh, so this is Doctor Strange? The Martin shrugs, looking troubled, then shakes his head. So? Still no. But I will look into where Gnome might be. Sighing, Oban nods, gives me a long look, then waves his hand in a circle, mumbling something. Ha! A bluish, swirling vortex forms behind him. He steps backwards into the void, and just like that, the Martin is gone. <laughs> well, alright then. Um... Why did you rush out of the bathroom in your armor? Uh, I was passing out. It was weird and I panicked. And then I heard someone talking in here, so I thought... Alright. I'm gonna save it right here. Wow, that was pretty cool. We got to meet a, uh... Not a... Mage? Not a mage. He's a Thaumaturge. Pretty cool. Oh, man, that was pretty cool. More heroes, or... Uh, not really heroes, I guess. Just a normal... Just a, uh... uh not a hero, just, a, I guess, a civilian? A super-powered civilian, I guess? I don't, I don't know. What would you call a super-powered civilian? A soup? <laughs> no. Nope, don't sue me, Amazon. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!